today I'm just going to review or rank the Garbage Pill Kid Book Trilogy. In the last places is the, is the second book. I just kind of found it very boring and they don't really get into the plot until halfway through. When you usually have a book like this, it should be, be having two-thirds of the story in there. They spend first third doing absolutely nothing then they spend the second third figuring out what to do and and then they go on a bus and they literally keep having to get on and off the bus every day because they keep forgetting to go on overall i just don't like this book next is the original it's it's all right pretty decent it's funny, but it literally it has little to no plot. They usually just find out something. The plot is that these two people are coming over to their house, and if they have no parents, then the the kids will be be kicked out of the area, and they'll be on their separate ways. But that's only like in the background, and shows up for like two part three parts of the story. They spend most of the time at school, then they go home, do with three different visits from the two people, and then they, and then they go through this garbage contest, which was literally the dumbest thing ever, but still pretty decent with a lot of funny jokes. My favorite of the series is the third book, the last one ever written. I don't know if there's going to be a fourth book anytime soon, but, yeah, it's kind of funny. The same thing happens with the bus from the second book, but it was actually a lot more funnier here. There's a lot of jokes that I kind of thought were pretty fun, me, but everything else was just kind of pretty generic. Now we're just going to rank what them in last place is... Thrills and Chills, three out of, two to three out of ten. Welcome to Slime Smellville, five to six out of ten. And Camp Days, seven to eight to nine out of ten. And that's the ranking of the Garbage Pill Kid Trilogy. Should I try more? Should I rank some more things or not?